If you go to the account settings and then sign in options and then the Windows Hello Fingerprint and see this error which is we couldn't find a fingerprint scanner compatible with Windows Hello Fingerprint then this video is for you. I'll show you how to fix this problem. Now the first thing you have to do is go to the search box and then type in services and you'll see services will show up at the top now from the right click on run as administrator and that will run services as administrator and as you can see here here it is now from here select any of them and then press w from your keyboard and that will take you to the w section of the uh, services and then now from here what you have to do is find windows biometric service as you can see here here it is now from here what you have to do is double click on it and then from here you need to make sure that the service status is running if you see that it is not running or stopped you can click on start and that will start the service and after that you need to select this to automatic instead of manual and then click on apply and then click on ok after that just close this window now what you have to do is enable the service from the registry editor so for that go to the search box again and then type in run and then press enter from your keyboard and in here type in gpedit.msc after that press ok and that will start the registry editor now from here what you have to do is double click on administrative templates and then double click on windows components and after that double click on biometrics and as you can see here we have a few options and most of them are not configured now we need to pay attention to these three so first which is allow the uh, use of biometrics so double click on it and then make it enabled and then click on apply click on ok now the next one double click on it and then enable it and then apply and then ok now the last one which you need to uh, enable this is the allow domain users to log in on using biometrics so double click on it and then enabled and then apply and then ok now after that all you need to do is restart your computer and that should fix the problem so let me just go ahead and do a restart now after the restart if the problem is still there what you have to do is go to start and then type in control panel and then click on control panel and then click on install our program now from here on the top left click on view installed updates and then from here find out the latest windows updates that has been installed on your computer and then select them and then click on uninstall to uninstall those latest updates and then see if the problem is gone if it is still there then what you have to do is go to start and then settings and then go to update and security and then click on check for updates and update your windows computer and that should fix the problem I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.